Jennifer. Hey, yeah, this is just a part of the celebration. There's going to be events going on all week long, and so many people are here because today it's free. Just take a look at the lines. It goes on and on and on. Now, if you're planning on taking the train in Cleveland tomorrow, I do want to warn you. Let's say you think you've seen Bon Jovi there. <gasps> Don't be too excited and surprised. Most likely you're not seeing the real celebrity. A bunch of trolley conductors there will be dressed up as celebrities and rock stars for fun. Definitely, with all this rain and dreary weather, you may think that this red carpet event sort of turned into a somber one, but that is not the case at all. In fact, so many fans are pumped. They have their ponchos and their wind umbrellas on, and they are still very excited. And here is sort of the red carpet setup they have outside of public hall right now. You can see they have the red carpet lined up, and at the top they have a tent so that the stars don't get wet and I want to actually walk over to some of these fans out here. Hey guys, look at these fans. Look at how many people came out to see the inductees today. Isn't it amazing? Just you can feel their energy. Hey guys, <laughs> who are you guys excited to see? Bon Jovi! Yeah, most people seem to be excited about Bon Jovi. So far we've seen the Moody Blues come through here. A lot of fans excited for them as well, but again, you guys, you guys are here to see who? Bon Jovi! So talk about, you know, what about his music speaks to you guys? Everything. Everything he says is so relevant, and he's just, his lyrics are so down to earth. He's just an everyday guy that happened to get really lucky because he's very talented. So Yeah, and, you know, a lot of fans were saying this is a long time coming. What took so long, which is also what he said yesterday. Yeah. So, <laughs> and the induction ceremony starts at 7.30 tonight. So stay tuned. We'll have much more for you coming up. I'm looking forward to Rick Ocasek and Paulina. So Jennifer I understand there has been some drama tonight with the inductee Dire Straits. What's going on with them? A couple of the members will not be arriving here today, including the frontman Mark Knopfler. And so there's, you know, what he said in terms of why he's not showing up. It's not because of a medical emergency or some sort of family issue, but he just doesn't feel like coming. And so, so far, Rock Hall hasn't even given us a celebrity presenter for that inductee. So we'll wow. see what happens. Jennifer Awe joins us now live. And Jennifer, what a night this was. Yes, what a star-studded night it was, and it's just a beautiful day today. All of the inductees arriving here in Cleveland, enjoying the area. I was there at the red carpet event where it all started. Fans lining up to see their favorite inductees. You know, it's just wonderful being here. I, I don't know. I think I might have a heart attack if I meet him. <laughs> then the crowd goes wild. That's right. We're here in beautiful Cleveland. All members of Bon Jovi finally making an appearance on the red carpet. I mean, our fans have been very dedicated for three plus decades. I mean, we're still making number one records and touring the world. We just write songs for us, and then it seems that people relate to them. 2018, baby! <laughs> then the show begins. From the home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio. The killers performing as the opening act. Howard Stern honoring his friends and introducing Hugh McDonald, Tico Torres, Sir Alec John Such, David Bryan, Richie Sambora, and the one and only John Bon Jovi, the band Bon Jovi. Next, Dire Straits, minus a few members, saying their thank yous, but not performing. Music touches the lives of so many, and it's incredibly heartwarming to learn that something you've been a part of has helped somebody. Friends, they stuck together. Followed by the cars, adding some humor to their speech. A couple of little known facts about the cars. Uh, when the band first started, uh, Ben was supposed to be the lead singer, and I was supposed to be the good looking guy in the band. <laughs> what a great night, and the induction ceremony is still going on right now here behind me at Public Call. We're still waiting for the other inductees to perform and speak. We also want to let you know the after party has officially started here in Cleveland. All of 8th Street, or excuse me, East 4th Street has been closed down. All the bars are celebrating, and we also want to let you know this ceremony that's happening here behind me. It's actually not going to be broadcast live tonight. Instead, it's going to air later next month on HBO in May. Live at the public hall. I'm Jennifer Ah, Channel 3 News. Oh, it's going to be a late night for sure. So we hear that Guy Fletcher of Dire Straits <laughs> loves our city. 
He does. He was talking about how much he enjoyed the Rock Hall Museum, how he loved the area, and even though he didn't have his other members with him, he said he had a great time. He didn't even mind the chilly and rainy weather, saying it was really similar to London, where he's from. Okay, <laughs> makes sense. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Lena. Drew, yes, Celebration Day just concluded here at Rock Hall, but the celebration is far from over. There are events happening all week long, including an author series with Gail Wald and an interview with one of the inductees, the Moody Blues. It's all part of Rock Week, heading up to the big induction ceremony happening next Saturday. And so here I want to show you today's big kickoff event. <laughs> The line, seemingly endless. We've had thousands of people through here already today, and they're still coming. And if you go up to the third floor, the transformation is complete. If you haven't seen the Hall of Fame in a while, you haven't seen the Hall of Fame. Bon Jovi, The Cars, Dire Straits, The Moody Blues, Nina Simone, the five artists on this year's ballot. Plus, Sister Rosetta Tharp, awarded for being an early influencer. Something new this year that we're trying to figure out how we'll incorporate in that is while you're here, you can actually submit who you would want to see in the hall. With live music playing, families got to try some instruments, face painting and kids craft. Live performances by the Backbeats, Diana Chitester along with Wesley Bright and the Honeytones, just to name a few. Most folks that came through, though, were fans of Bon Jovi, naming their favorite songs. Oh, I'll be there for you, Bed of Roses, they're all great. Even her daughter has her own fave. I love bad medicine. So before going on stage as the headline performer, founding member of Bon Jovi, Richie Sambora, unexpectedly gave some fan service inside. Played an impromptu concert in here. He's gone through the exhibits and really just said hi to all the fans. So. It's been a very lucky day. I said we love you and he blew me a kiss and now I'm blown away. I'm just so on a cloud. <laughs> What a day it was for music fans everywhere. Now we also want to let you know that one of the inductees has some big news planned for this coming Monday and so their fans here in Northeast Ohio should be pretty pumped up about this. Now I can't give out too much information on it but big news coming up on Monday so stay tuned. Live at the Rock Hall, I'm Jennifer Ah, Channel 3 News. All right, looking forward to it. Thanks Jennifer.